what is happening with Jackson. Um, we have a weird look, went to the left, and they were not in a good place in that moment. Where is he sort of in the processing of all that? Um, I, mean, I think he feels a tremendous amount of betrayal from Tara, and I, I always felt, not to say that it's concrete and they can't get back from it, but I know from my life there are moments, you know, you have with somebody that you're in a relationship with where you just... So I have that like epiphany of like this is not gonna we can't keep moving forward, you know? And I think that, that was a moment where Jack's realized that they had just hit a crossroads that she had he always thought that she was gonna find some type of peace in his life. Like they talked about the beginning, I think I think he was always posturing a little bit really. I felt like that was slightly disingenuous and that ultimately he knew he was never gonna be able to leave. Especially not for good, maybe temporarily, but you know. And I think that Tara always thought that she was gonna convince him to leave and they were gonna go. And I think that they just both had that realization that she couldn't stay, but she didn't want it, and he couldn't leave, and he didn't want it. So what's so where does that leave them? They're not together anymore, you know? And but then of course, you know, they have their kids together and it's you know, as all relationships are when they end, it's gonna be fucking messy. <laughs> There were a couple scenes last season where, for the first time ever, people weren't necessarily cheering for Jax, especially that scene with Wendy. Are we going to see some more scenes like that, where we see that darker side? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, you know, um, I think so. I mean, I think that Kirk really loves this character of Jax, so... I think that it's not going to be like play where there's no redemption, but I, I do think, I think that Dick Kurtz really not afraid to take Jax to a very, very dark place and to kind of challenge the audience a little bit, to, you know. And I, I really like that because I feel like, you know, you can tell a story about guys like this and to just make them likable all the time is, you know, kind of... You know, it's it's a little, you know, I think, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I think that we deal with bad characters and, like, guys that, you know, commit heinous crimes, it's irresponsible to make them, you know, nice and cozy and fluffy all the time, you know, it was, you know, so I, th I think that it was really brave and it was, I was, I was excited that we decided to do that and I hope he does it a lot more, you know, because ultimately Jax does have a heart and goal, but he does like terrible things on a regular basis and, you know, maybe we should question ourselves whether we're going to condone that, you know. Does Jax regret um, either the double cross on Pope or the double cross on Clay at all in the beginning of the season? Or does he stand strong behind that he made the right decision? I think he doesn't regret anything. I think that Clay killed his father and Pope killed his best friend and both those guys. There couldn't have been a brutal enough death for either of them, you know? So I think that... You know, obviously, as we see here, you know, Ron is in this room right now, so it seems that Clay, for the time being, is alive and well, and I think that every second that he's still breathing is, you know, is a very, very good second for Jax. Are the Suns going to have a big, larger adversary this season, as sort of focusing on you guys? Vitorik's a problem. Vitorik's a big problem, and the, um, the IRA continues to be a big problem. And, but, well, you know, more than any of that, they just are a big problem for themselves. I mean, most of the problems that they have to deal with are self-inflicted, and I think that's, you know, the continuing in the case. Well, difficult to shoot uh, this season between your work with Pacific Rim and between the TV covers? Just the last month, just doing all the publicity for Pacific Rim has been, you know, they're calling double duty. I mean, I try not to... You know, I just find like to focus on one thing at a time, so I've never really been in a situation where it's been two points at once, so it's been really difficult, but I got through it, you know. But yeah, I mean, I was all over the 
all over the place. I would shoot like two days on the Sons of Anarchy, and then I go to San Francisco, and then shoot another two days, and then go to England for like a day, and then fly back. And so I haven't slept very much in the last month. Well, what a rough year for you. Good problems to have, though, you know. Oh, thank you. I, I really like the film. I mean, I think Guillermo did a really amazing job. I mean, I know that people were kind of mixed about the response towards it, but I gotta say, I'm the most brutal critic uh, of anything that I'm in. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I don't just, uh, you know, I'm not particularly light on the stuff that I do. And I fucking love the movie. I thought Guillermo did an amazing job. You know, it's like an, actually like an original movie, you know, and there's some art in there, and it's entertaining, and, you know, I think the problem was he kind of reached for it, like he wanted to do something that had some heart, and then people say, oh, well, the drop type movie doesn't have enough heart, or, you know, they you know, can't make everyone happy all the time. I, I remember... I had like such an epiphany a few years ago. I was with a bunch of like film people, like really smart people, like some like some of the like a couple of guys that you know are in the top 15 best directors in the world, and like some editors. And it was a big dinner party of like you know the kind of elite of Hollywood, and we were talking about movies, and the difference in opinion was so vast. But they're all really smart people, you know, they like really understood film. And some guys hated some shit and some guys loved it, you know, and they just realize it's all just a matter of taste. You're never gonna make everyone happy. Thank you. Great. Right on.